gets pretty emotional driving through some of these communities you could see there was nothing but water across the street you could see people trying to be rescued by a uh, boat walking through with their pets through the water and the muck i don't think anything up to this date had prepared me for the magnitude um, and the sheer devastation of what we're up against right now and, and the needs of this community. I got involved with Helping Hands about a year and a half ago, right after the uh, tax day crisis, you know, and the flooding. How are you guys doing? I mean, I, I, the, besides the obvious, you have a place to sleep, we're, we're in you've got shelter. Yeah. Okay, how's the structure? What, uh, I haven't been inside yet, but everything from about five foot or so above the floor level is you know, Texas is a big state, but 2,200 square miles of devastation that went from urban asphalt to everything went underwater. Days later, the water starts to subside, and as you get an opportunity to see some of the most unique situations, people that have lost everything are serving other people that have lost everything. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello, Amanda. John McDonald. Nice, nice to meet you, you as well. Hi. Thank you. It's overwhelming to realize that there is struggle. Um, but there's brotherhood, there's faith, there's hope. We're not alone here. And it's just been an absolute blessing um, to experience that. I think uh, I'm gonna quote this wrong. I think it's Isaiah 16, three, maybe. Um, it's beauty for ashes, you know? grief is heavy and hearts are low um, and to be on these projects and hearing laughter and knowing that there's there's going to be a tomorrow and that there's going to be somebody there with you it's uh, it's pretty humbling just go holes all the way just toe kicks only we can even do the same above the soul plate here i think the reason faith bridge is so outstanding and is working as well as it does in situations like this is because they have built uh, a pyramid of God first, friends, family, and relationships second, and the physical brick, mortar, and roof of the church is third. They have made, made the people come before that. And uh, I believe the success of our church is in the relationships with one another. Hey, this is John from Faith Bridge. Just checking in, I got your text. God, I pray that you would be over this house and that you would bring joy, peace, and understanding. I also pray that you would bring resolution quickly. And I'm thankful for all the friends and people at Care for Kyle that are here to take care of her. God, I thank you for her. We love you and we appreciate you. Amen. Amen. Amen.